What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching a Rage and Roller Review. Got a review for you. Two weeks ago, I saw Venom, and Venom is a very highly anticipated film amongst comic book movie fans and Spider-Man fans, especially since Venom is the very first film that kicks off the new Spider-Man universe uh, franchise from Sony Pictures. The last time we got a Spider-Man film from Sony Pictures was The Amazing Spider-Man 2 starring Andrew Garfield and that was back in 2014. That's four years ago. And there was of course the, um, the Spider-Man appearances from Tom Holland but that was from Marvel Studios. So that actually is a separate universe from Venom. Anyways, first of all, I just want to apologize for the delay in this review. I actually just got, got back from Iceland a little bit over two weeks ago. Iceland was awesome, by the way. I'm going to put out my vlog, my travel vlog videos on my other channel, uh, Darth Samurai, youtube.com slash Darth Samurai, all one word. And uh, you can check out those videos there. But anyways, I just got back from Iceland and I'm just trying to play catch up right now because there was a lot of movies that came out. Uh, since I got back and Venom was one of them and now I finally put out that review and I just want to thank you all for your patience. Anyways, let's just get on with this review. Venom is directed by Ruben Fleischer who directed Zombieland. Really, really enjoyed Zombieland. Thought it, Zombieland it thought it was a great film. Uh, Venom stars Tom Hardy as the title character as well as Riz Ahmed, Michelle Williams and also Jenny Slate. And like I said before, this kicks off the new uh, rebooted Spider-Man universe from Sony Pictures Marvel franchise, which is essentially just all Spider-Man characters and villains, which is going to be, which is very um, interesting and I think a little bit questionable, especially since Venom doesn't actually have Spider-Man in it. So I thought that that in itself is a very, very questionable move and I was a little bit skeptical about this film, but I'm still looking forward to it, especially since the trailer really made Venom look like the way he should look like because we last saw Venom in Spider-Man 3 directed by Sam Raimi and that film was easily the weakest of the trilogy and Venom was just not the Venom that I wanted to see. It's not the way I imagined I would want Venom to be and to top things off since Spider-Man 3 wasn't really a great film to begin with uh, but anyways after I saw the trailers I was like okay this looks great. So does it live up to its hype? I think it does. I saw Venom two weeks ago and I actually came out really liking this movie. I thought it was a good film. It's not a great film. It comes with flaws. It's not a perfect uh, film. But this film is exactly what I wanted for a Venom film. Even though it's PG-13 and I really think it should be rated R, I feel that the Sony Pictures and Ruben Fleischer and everybody involved did a really excellent job with this film. One thing that I really, really liked about this film is Tom Hardy, who plays Eddie Brock, and his chemistry between Venom and Eddie Brock. It's like an alter ego, and I really love that chemistry. It provides for uh, a bit of comic relief, but it really just shows um, um, uh, Tom Hardy's um, uh, acting chops. I thought his acting was great in this film. I think he played the, the, the part well. And yeah, he did an excellent job as Eddie Brock. Uh, one thing that I also liked about this movie was the way they portrayed uh, Venom. Very, very, just like the way I imagined that he would be. Uh, very, very violent type of character and just has all those things that we love about Venom's, Venom in the comics. So in the visual sense and the, the visceral sense, that's what I like about Venom. So they really pulled that off well. Now this film isn't uh, without flaws. There was a couple of things that I thought they could have done better, which was First of all, I thought the whole idea of a Venom film without Spider-Man in it is questionable, but they managed to pull that off. Now, another thing that I thought was very, very questionable was the, the motives of Venom. Like, they're trying to make a villain-centric film, but is he actually a villain? That's debatable. And to make him the protagonist and not feel like really the bad guy was a bit weird to me. Like, it just felt weird and off, but I still love the action that he got himself into. So that was cool. I mean, it's essentially bad guys, bad guys versus a not so bad guy, not so good guy, but he's just kind of like, uh, like a neutral character. I wouldn't say he's good. I wouldn't say he's bad, but like there are evil elements there, right? So that part was a little bit weird to me. 
Uh, you know, just to not have him fight a hero. It was more like bad guy versus bad guy in a way. Um, another thing that I thought was weird was the story. Like, um, like the more like like Venom's motives. That was extremely questionable to me. But hey, they made it work. Uh, but that's because I know the source material, so it just makes it a bit weird to have him be like that. So that was kind of odd. <laughs> And the final thing is that the final act of the film, while it was enjoyable and entertaining, you just got to look at it that way because it was a big CG slugfest when you have, um, when you have a, a Riz Ahmed's character um, go up you know, as the main antagonist against Venom slash Eddie Brock. That was just one big, like I said, CG slugfest. I mean, it still looked good. But it was just like, blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm saying? You're just watching like, I wouldn't say you're watching a cartoon, but it could very well be a cartoon because when you have two CG characters go up against each other in the dark, like in the, in the night setting, it's just full on CG. And it's, it's just like, you just take in what you see. <laughs> so, but besides that, I still think it's a cool movie. I think it's a worthy um, starting film for this new franchise that's being kicked off by Sony Pictures, but we are gonna get like, when are we gonna see Spider Man besides this car, this animated film we're getting in December? When are we gonna actually see Spider Man in this universe? I think we need to get that in. Um, also, another thing, if you are a fan of the the source material, you'll be uh, you will love the the. the um, the, the Easter eggs in there. So uh, there you have it. Anyways, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. This is a good film. Not a great film, but I still think it's a very good film. Like a really, really good film and a very good Venom film. So uh, I highly recommend it. I know it's been two weeks, and but if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got to say in this review. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.